President Donald Trump flip-flopped on a flip-flop Thursday afternoon, telling reporters he's open to a bipartisan health care deal sends. Lamar Alexander RTN and Patty Murray DWA struck earlier this week. During a press conference with a Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras on Tuesday, Trump said that he wouldn't sign the bill, and then said 11 minutes later it was a good solution, and then tweeted the next morning that he could never support it. I am supportive of Lamar as a person also of the process but I can never support bailing out ins cause who have made a fortune w-o care, Donald J. Trump at real Donald Trump October 18, 2017 then, Wednesday morning, he said Americans were going to see the bipartisan, but that he wouldn't do anything to enrich insurance companies. On Wednesday night, Trump reportedly called Alexander and encouraged him to move forward with health care talks. Finally, on Thursday afternoon, he claimed, I'm open to it. Trump told reporters Thursday that he will probably like the Alexander Murray deal as a short-term solution but that ultimately, he wants to move to block grant health care to the states like the failed Graham Cassidy bill would have. Earlier in the week on Tuesday, Trump had mentioned somewhat incoherently that his health plan would be like the plan proposed by SENS. Lindsey Graham RSC and Bill Cassidy RLA that failed to garner enough votes to pass the Senate last month. We feel we have the votes, and as soon as we're finished with taxes, John, we really feel we have the votes to get block grants into the states where the states can much better manage this money and much better take care of the people, rather than the federal government, Trump said during a press conference that day. The state block grants, well do massive block grants into the various states so that the states can run the program. A reporter asked whether that meant Graham Cassidy was still the plan, and Trump said essentially. It's worth noting that analyses of the Graham Cassidy bill found that every state would suffer under the $4 trillion cuts to federal health care funding over the next two decades and that 32 million people could lose their health insurance by 2027, a far cry from Trump's campaign promises of better, cheaper health care for all. Sent, Murray lists the 12 Dem cost sponsors of the health care deal Marie King, Shaheen Donnelly, Heidkamp, Frank and Klobuchar, Minchin, Carpare, Baldwin, McAskill, Hassan.